are different in Mexico. This is a lot. You try to sedate the small city. I think you have big problems. Perceptivo. How's it going? I'm doing really well. Spread your legs a little bit wider. Should we go on a date first? Ha ha. I am in a lot of pain. Do you want to get better? Really? Say it, Claire. I do. Well, that was a clip from the new movie, Cake, starring Jennifer Aniston. It is a story of a woman living in chronic pain like those who suffer from arthritis. Joining us now is Ann Palmer, the national president for the Arthritis Foundation, and Susan Carter, the CEO of the South Central Region for the Arthritis Foundation. And um, you, did you actually work with Jennifer Aniston on this movie? We, we got to be with her. Uh, I got to be with her and, um, in L.A. when they did a, a preview or showing and a panel afterwards. It was really, she's just such a genuine mm -hmm. person. It just brought so much attention to the issue of chronic pain, which for people who suffer with arthritis is so important. And I think people really felt so validated by having chronic pain come to the forefront mm -hmm. and be talked about in a movie like that. So. And the numbers are actually huge, right? How many people are suffering from arthritis? It's something like one in five or six? One in five, one 50, in five? 50 million people and 250 it's to 300,000 children. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's I'm amazing. so glad you brought that up because my next question for you was going to be, is this an age-related disease? And, and the answer is no, no, not always. Most people think it is. Mm -hmm. They think it's inevitable old, but in fact it's not. Children are born with it. It's very common for particularly women to be diagnosed with it at the peak of their life, 30 years old or so. So it's all, all age groups. It's over 100 forms of diseases, but it's, um, it's not you know, an old person's disease at mm -hmm. all. It affects all people at different stages of life and manifests itself differently in different people. And, uh, but the common, the common denominator is pain. Is pain. pain. Is it treatable? Right. I mean, how do we treat it besides just treating the pain? Well, I mean, absolutely it is treatable. And now we have some amazing, you know, biologic drugs that are personalized drugs just based on, you know, the individual, the individual's makeup and what type of arthritis that they have. So we've come so far. And exactly what Ann was saying, you know, we used to see children, I mean, just 10 years ago, children who were diagnosed with uh, juvenile arthritis were in wheelchairs. Mm. And today, when we go to our conferences, we can't tell the children who were diagnosed from their siblings. Wow. So we've come a long way. We're making great progress, but we've still got a long way to go. Well, and one of the um, issues, obviously, one of the problems with Jennifer Aniston and in this movie, she actually became addicted to the pain that's medication. Right. I'm, I'm imagining that's a big problem for people in the arthritis world, right? Well, certainly pain is, uh, it, it's a common denominator. People talk about pain. You know, but that people are on medication mm -hmm. for pain often or other medications. You know, we don't deal with that a lot. Addiction, there are, you know, it's, it's people use medicine for pain and don't have to become addicted. Mm -hmm. I think that, uh, but it is, pain is, is, it causes so many problems sure. in people's life, yeah. even if it's not addiction. It's, you know, it keeps you from doing the things that you want to do every you, day. Yeah. It limits you. Can you talk about some of the symptoms of arthritis? We hear about rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, mm -hmm. um, different types of the disease, but what are some of the symptoms? So there's really two very different diseases. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis it starts with pain. You know, mm -hmm. there's some sort of, usually people don't recognize, you know, it's, oh, it's just growing pains or it's, you know, I'm uncomfortable this morning, and, but you need to take the symptoms seriously. You need to push because we do know that the sooner you're treated, mm -hmm. the better you're going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and osteoarthritis is totally different. It could be caused by an injury uh, when you go back to playing too soon or you're, you don't do proper stretching beforehand. So there's a lot of new data about um, sports and, and how children should be uh, you know, playing sports and we're doing a lot of education there around that because that can cause future or make you more predisposed to arthritis in the that future. That would be my 39-year-old yeah. husband who aches getting out of the bed mm -hmm. after a seven-year professional and football career. That's exactly. right. And that is, how, how can people help? Because this is the sort of research that you all do that is so important mm -hmm. to help people, you know, not Absolutely. only diagnose this disease early but be able to treat it. So how can people Absolutely. help? Absolutely. Well, we, um, here in North Texas, you know, we have a huge, um, what we call the Walk to Cure Arthritis. It happens on May 9th, and it's here at Globe Life Park out in Arlington, and it's on May 9th, and for people who want to participate, it's a great way to get out and enjoy, have fun, walk. It's You can learn more about that by going to Arthritis 
um, Walk to Cure Arthritis, NTX, NorthTexas.org, and learn more about it. And it's a great way to support the organization and support those that you love who suffer from arthritis. Well, goodness, one in five, it seems like everyone's probably mm -hmm. affected by exactly. this. Exactly. No. Mm -hmm. Genetic? Is it genetic? We think probably genetic predisposition. We're not sure yet, or but uh, you know, very good. And more to come. That's mm -hmm. just diagnosed Absolutely. arthritis. There's so many people have arthritis and don't know that they wow. do. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I, I think I need to go see somebody because I've had back issues and mm -hmm. and pain mm -hmm. issues, and and this might be the the root yeah. cause. But I've had doctors say that. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's not fun. Not, not at fun. All. Okay. Thank you, ladies, for being with Thanks us. Thanks so much for having us. Appreciate yeah, you sharing. Thank the you. Bye. Okay. We're back with more broadcast after this. <laughs>